for videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We're talking right now with Steve from collegefootballwinning.com, a regular returning guest. Thanks for being back, Steve. Thank you for having me back, Peter. All right. The first game you said that you uh, sense an edge in is UTSA at New Mexico State. Now, UTSA, they did beat South Alabama. You know, they're 2-0 and against the spread. They look like they're a team that's excited to be where they are right now, kind of looking like they can win wherever they can, win by big margins wherever they can. New Mexico State, on the other hand, you know, they couldn't beat their, uh, their uh, in-state rival last week. They're just kind of looking lethargic in all ways. They're a three-and-a-half-point home favorite. So I'm thinking at first glance, UTSA getting points is the way to go here. Is that how you see it? It is how I see it. This is, uh, they're new to the FBS, as you mentioned. They're provisional members right now with the WAC. They're not eligible to win a conference title until next year when they'll be in Conference USA. They're the youngest team in the nation. They're comprised mostly of sophomores, but they also have the most returning starters in an ironic twist. You know their head coach is Larry Coker, and lest people forget, this is the same Larry Coker who was at the U, the University of Miami, as head coach, went 60-15, and 15, two national championship appearances, one national championship title. He played in, his teams played in bowl games every year was a head coach. He never had a losing season as head coach. New Mexico State, on the other hand, they're being coached by Dwayne Walker. And under Dwayne Walker at home, he is 36% against the spread. As a home favorite for New Mexico State University, which does not happen too often, under Dwayne Walker, they are one in three against the spread. Mm. And they are, as you mentioned, more than a field goal home favorite in this one. Eight of New Mexico's last 14 home games have failed to meet the minimum FBS attendance requirement. <laughs> 5, 000, sorry, 15,000 paid attendees. So I would not consider this a home field advantage for anybody when that is the case. UTSA, this is Texas San Antonio, as you said, they've only played one game in the FBS. So much went wrong for them, and they still pulled out that victory. That was against South Alabama. New Mexico State is their first established FBS opponent. And for UTSA, this is their first ever conference game. They are pumped up for this game. You already said New Mexico State just lost to their in-state rival. They have three losses in a row. They're deflated. UTSA was picked to be 124th out of 124 FBS teams. Expectations could not have been lower. This looks like New Mexico State is not exactly going to be up for this game, whereas UTSA will definitely be up for this game. Uh, so far, when you start with those low predictions, these guys are 4-0, and and as you mentioned, UTSA is 2-0 and against the spread so far. And Peter, has anyone ever mentioned Aristotle on your program? Uh, yeah, Swain Johnson once in a while, but other than that, no. Okay, then I want to be uh, the second guy then okay. to mention Aristotle. Aristotle believed that all virtue was formed through, through habit. Well, Vince, I think that's bullshit. Oh, Who's, well, there, who said that? He was an Aristotelian, and he said winning is a habit. Yeah. And so is losing. That's bullshit, right. but whatever. Um, whatever. Go yeah. on. Make your point. Make your point. Go with Aristotle. Okay. And it looks like New Mexico State is in the habit of losing. UTSA is in the habit of winning. Uh, I, I am on the UTSA bandwagon with the Roadrunners. And one small caveat, they have an outstanding kicker. His name is Sean Ayano. Mm -hmm. And he may or may not go this week. That could change my feeling about where to place money on on this whether to place money on this game or not so people are feel free to to email us at info at collegefootballwinning.com we will update people even if they're not clients on that injury okay so he goes he is a perfect seven for seven this guy's a fantastic kicker if he goes then we like utsa a lot if he doesn't then we're going to back off of this game Hmm. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Great analysis, Steve. And um, you convinced me. I'm liking them as well.